Hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. And I can't wait to see you guys in the new year. And I hope you have a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I'm very awkward. I can be a very awkward person. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, as you guys know, it is Christmas. And what happens on Christmas is you spend time with family and you exchange gifts. I mean, you don't have to, but you do, or you can. And I've done this year. I've exchanged gifts with everybody and got some of my own in return. And Santa Claus gave me some gifts too. So, I'm gonna show you guys the things that I got for Christmas. It's gonna be my... Yeah, sorry about that. If you hear any noises in the background, I'm sorry. It's my dad. He was playing with the kids downstairs. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'm gonna show you this off. I'm gonna show you guys what I got for Christmas because we just decided to keep Christmas opening like our presents to ourselves as a family this year. So I'm just gonna show you what I got and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. But another thing, um, the most of you know that my dad is on the outs with YouTube. He's not doing YouTube anymore. He's no longer, yeah, so. I've been looking through stuff and I've seen that a lot of you want me to carry on the channel and I don't wanna let any of you guys down because you guys have been with me for so long. Most of you have, most of you are new and if you're new, I still appreciate you as much as I appreci appreciate all of you. And I wanna say thank you for sticking around as long as you guys have. But I also don't want to leave you guys hanging and I don't want this to be the final goodbye for me because it is not the final goodbye for me. You're going to see a lot more from me. I will try to get as much as I can out, but I'm a teenager. <laughs> I'm gonna be an adult soon. And that's really crazy to think of, but I know this is a very long introduction to a haul and you're probably like, I just want to see you open your stuff or I just want to see what you got for Christmas. I'm sorry, but I feel like you guys should know this. But I am going to carry this out, and yes, you will get to see what's going to happen for Sweet 16 too. Just to let you guys know, but I'm not telling you what it's going to be like, because there's usually themes and stuff, but I'm not going to let you guys know. So that'll be a surprise for you, so stay tuned, even though that's going to be in March. But I don't know how often I'm going to get videos out on the channel, and I've also decided that I want to change the name of the channel, because if it's just for me, like maybe teenagers, it really doesn't matter. Just anybody that, you know, wants to watch entertaining content if that's what I can make. So that's what I want to do, make entertaining content and post it and hopefully get it out as much as I can and as often as I can. But it will be really based upon my schedule. So if I'm too busy, I might not be able to get something out, but hopefully I can. So just bear with me and stay, stay for the journey and ride. So let's get on this video. I'm gonna enter a little swooshy. Okay, let me just get on with this. Okay, for Christmas, I got a, let's cover the word. I got a box of the bath circles. <laughs> the bath circles. Oh, maybe I can't even say that word either. Well, anyways, I don't even know anymore with this thing, but the, 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 bu the bubbles, the, the, the soapy stuff that makes bubbles in the water, but it's not soap, it's like baking soda and something else that's scented and it makes your water different colors or sparkle and smell good and then you go to the bathtub and you can relax. I got those for Christmas. I can't say the word because of YouTube, sorry. And then my headphones broke. I had two pair. The one that I got with my phone and then the one that was with my, I don't know, I just got one. But I got a pair of headphones. I got a pair of headphones. Because Caitlin and I kind of broke my beads and I broke my other ones. So my headphones will like come out. Watch out. I got a bunch of socks. I love socks. I cannot tell you how much I love socks. But I love socks. I have a pair of cute, I think that's a snowflake, <laughs> snowflake socks and a gray pair. And then I have these long socks that are super cute with snowflakes. I got these for, I got these for Christmas from Brittany too. And I got this floof ball of hair 
for anything. I think it can go on like a wallet or something. Yeah, it can go on a wallet or your backpack or on a water bottle. Probably gonna put it on a water bottle. I'm gonna get whacked in the face. Oh, my sister. Okay, she got me a cute bracelet with Pisces. It is super duper cute. Now let's get on to the really, really, really things that the things that got me super excited. Scary socks. I wanted these so bad for so long. I got them because, you know, you can't really have a pair of socks from a certain brand without the shoes, which means, yes, I, I did. I did. I, 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 I did. I, I just, I. A boom bang, a shalang, kaboom. Probably can't even say that either, but. I get a pair of Sperry saltwater boots and they are super duper cute and super duper comfy and I'm just super 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 I got white slip-on bands that I am so in love with. <laughs> they are the cutest shoes ever. I was wearing them today and they looked so good with this outfit because I have this tie knot shirt on and a pair of black leggings. I got these black leggings for Christmas, the ones that I'm wearing. Um, but these are just super cute and they're gonna go good with everything and anything. <laughs> Warning, don't wear these on the beach. I usually wear sneakers on the beach in real life, but that's because, I don't know, I just do. But they're super cute. <laughs> Shaboom. They're the cutest. I, I love all of the shoes that I got. These are super adorable. They will go good with anything. I wore these already and they're cute. Here we go. Oh, you already saw it. I don't care. Patagonia. I got a Patagonia zip up. It is a quarter zip, or I think it's a three. No, it's, yeah, it's a three quarter zip jacket. I'm pretty sure because only, no, wait, it's a quarter zip jacket because only a quarter of it gets zipped. And it's super soft. It's super comfortable. If you ever want a jacket, 10 out of 10 recommend this. I tried it on and I didn't want to take it off because it's so warm. I really wanted this hoodie for Christmas and I got it. It's an Adidas hoodie. I love it. It's the Adidas trefoil, tre trefo trefo I don't know how to say it, but it's super adorable and it's super big and comfortable and it's just how you would want a hoodie, oversized. It's so cute. Yes. Last thing. I got a super duper 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 comfortable North Face jacket. And you're probably like, why would you get a white jacket? Well, because I have a black one and I don't know, the white one just seems like it would go with everything. And I know it's gonna get stained easily, but that's what you, you take risks when you get something that's white. But I've really, really, really wanted the white one since I was in sixth grade. And I don't know, I didn't really ask for it any of the past Christmases because <laughs> Myself is more fo I was more focused on toys at the time. I was focused on dolls and I was focused on other things rather than clothes. But this Christmas I decided I just wanted clothes because I'm getting older and my fashion is expanding. <laughs> I hope. I mean, I think I dress better than I did last year. I, I, I had no sense of style. And I'm like artistic, so I like artsy things. So I come up with good designs and stuff like that. But I really wanted this and I finally got it and I'm super thankful. I want to thank my Padre for all of these yum, yeah, I was gonna say yummy gifts for all these great gifts. I'm very thankful, very, very, very thankful. I am finally doing my Christmas haul video. I have everything. So everything's set out, right? All right. Here and oh god, my stomach hurts really bad. I eat. just drank half a vinegar. Okay, who? And I'm gonna show you guys everything I got because I didn't do a Christmas video on opening this year. Um, I didn't want to. I just wanted to spend time with family, and I didn't want to have a camera out, so I didn't record. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what I got. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, let's get on with it.
All right, now I'm gonna get into some more gifts from my best friend, Gabby. Um, she hooked me up with books. Now, these are books that I've had on my list that I wanted. I was gonna get them last year. I was gonna buy them for myself during the summer and I never did because, don't know why I didn't. I was gonna buy like seven books. And these are some of the books that I really, really, really wanted because I love reading, but I have to have the book in order to read. So I really wanted this book and I have not seen the movie yet because I wanna read the book before I watch the movie because that's just how I am. I like to read books before I watch the movie. So I really wanted to get this book. It's from the movie, or it's, it's the book that the movie Love, Simon is based off of called Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. And I've wanted to read this for so long and I was super happy when she gave this to me for Christmas. I, oh my God. Okay, the movie looked cute, but I just wanted to read the book for a while and I was like, I can't watch the movie until I read the book. So now I'm gonna read this book. Probably won't take me that long. Um, I'll be done with it. Then I'm gonna end up like probably going to get the movie and watch the movie. And then after that, I'm gonna read Paper Downs, okay? I'm gonna read Paper Downs. I really wanted Paper Downs. Um, my sister, she had a bunch of John Green books. She read them, she loved them. I also wanna read Looking for Alaska. That's one of the books I have on my list. I wanna get that one. But I wanna read Paper Towns. And I've already seen the movie, which kinda sucks. So I kinda like know what happens, but you know, that's okay, that's okay. So I can't wait to read this and then rewatch the movie so I can be like, whoa, okay, I get that. And then, <clears throat> Here we go. If I Stay. I watched this movie with Gabby a few years ago. I loved the movie. I cried watching the movie, but I loved the movie. Now I can finally read the book. And she she gave me this book. It's actually hers and it's kind of crazy to think that she read this because it's like not even bent and I'm like, what? So this is hers, she gave it to me. And she said near the end, I'll see her tear stains in the book. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll cry on the same page too. And she also gave me where she went which is the second book to the sequel and oh my gosh i know there's no movie for it but still i wanna i'm gonna read this one last out of all of them because i'm gonna start with love simon or yeah that one uh paper towns and then i'm gonna do if i stay and where she went and i can't wait to cry i don't know one of the books she said her tear stains are in it we'll find out but i'm super excited to read those that is a lot of pages but i'm prepared see florida when i come back for you i got a lot to read i got a lot on my agenda okay now let me get into another small gift it's actually kind of bad i ate three, three protein bars since christmas well whatever okay so this was on my christmas list for a while i've been trying to find things that are gonna be good for my teeth with teeth whitening because i want to find stuff that's really gonna get my teeth white so on top of having the Nova Shine Smile Teeth Whitening Kit, which works wonders. My teeth were looking so white when I was using it, but then I got so upset that I left it at home when we went to Florida. So, you know, that's okay, that's okay. My teeth weren't as white, but then I got back and I started using it, so it's good now. My teeth are looking white, uh, but I got this. It's a My Magic Mud Teeth Charcoal Whitening Toothpaste. I can't speak. Did you hear that? Like, <laughs> it is so good. I've used this at least four times now since Christmas because I do it like two times a day. What the heck today? What the heck is today? Is it 28th? Whatever, I've used it a bunch of times. So it smells so good. I got this scent wintergreen or this the flavor wintergreen <laughs> and it smells so good and works so good. I love it so much. So I'm so thankful for that. Oop, I just dropped it. Very thankful. Now another small thing, a Jeffree Star lip scrub. It is the scent Egg Nog. Oh my gosh. This smells so good, guys. If you have ever had a lip scrub before by Jeffree Star, oh my gosh, you know that they smell so good. The thing that I love about it is that you can taste it. Like you're allowed to eat it because it's edible. Like you wouldn't want to eat it, but like when you put it on your lips, you can lick it off oh my gosh it looks just like eggnog i don't oh my gosh that is what it looks like on the inside i've used some of it as you can tell it smells so good uh get off my face we don't need to see that right now it smells so good mm. yes i just licked it off my lips it tastes really good funny story i was in kroger and i smelled this and it smelled really good and i actually have no idea where they got it i think they said sephora but i don't know because you can probably get it there 
but I smelled this at the store and I was just smelling soaps because that's always what I do when I'm going to Kroger and I don't know what else to do if I'm like shopping for food and I just get bored I'll go and smell things so I smelled this and oh my gosh guys this smells so good it is a foaming whip body wash it smells so good if you go to a store please for the love of everything smell this you will thank me i cannot wait to smell like this <laughs> if my hair can smell like this you think it would hurt my hair if i just put it in my hair i'm gonna put it in my hair i don't think it says you can't it doesn't say you can't i'll put it in my hair i'm gonna do it another small meaningful gift is a matching necklace with my best friend gabby oh stop trying to focus on my face so i got the little dipper funny considering i'm older than her but you know i'm smaller because i'm like shorter she's really tall she thinks she's short but she's taller than me so she's tall uh so i'm the little dipper because i'm short and tiny <laughs> apparently so i'm the little dipper i like it and i'm gonna put it on soon but I have a choker and I already have two necklaces on, but I love wearing necklaces. So I'm going to end up putting it on. I really love them. I mean, love it, but I love necklaces. <laughs> I'm so awkward. I'm sorry. As you can tell. All right, next. <laughs> I'm so bad with this. I just keep going. You can tell that this is empty. That is because I am wearing them right now. Oh, okay. Let me, let me show you. Oh. So these are the earrings that I got from my best friend's mom she gave them to me for christmas because she loves me and i'm super close with her and i'm super thankful to have her in my life i'm super thankful to have everybody that i have in my life but i'm super thankful for her too like a lot i, I love i love everybody that's really close to me and i'm just super thankful because i know that there's meaning behind these earrings and i don't know i just i'm super thankful i'm gonna cry but like I'm just super thankful to have her and my best friend in my life. And yeah, so they're super cute. And they're definitely me and I love them. Oh my God, yeah, I look really crazy now. All right, another thing that you guys are not gonna get because I don't put stuff like this on on YouTube because it's just like family stuff. So my grandparents, they got me a little dragonfly necklace. And you might un not understand why I got a dragonfly necklace and you're probably like, hmm, what is that for? So the reason why I have a dragonfly necklace, a dragonfly is what? An insect. Yeah. But also, it's a type of bug. And ever since I was really little, my grandpa's always called me his little bug. And <laughs> everyone used to always think it'd be cuter to call me ladybug. And, you know, maybe a girl would be like, oh my god, yeah, I like ladybug better because it's so much cuter. But now I've always been my grandpa's little bug. And I'll always be my grandpa's bug. And so they gave me this necklace for Christmas and I just really love it because it'll always remind me of them because I don't get to, I don't see them much because we don't live that close to each other. So when I get to wear this, I'll think of them and being his little bug makes me happy. Yeah, I love that. Every time I see them, he would like, hey there, little bug, and he gives me this big old hug. I love my family. Let's take another sip of this real quick. I don't know what was crunchy, but it tasted good. Okay. I had a Snickers. It was like that huge pack of like two Snickers that were uh, trees and I kind of ate them. <laughs> that was not like me. Like I didn't eat all of it. I'd take bites here and there and then they got the rest of it away. But I ate one of these and I have another one. These are so good. My sister got them for me for Christmas and I love them. So I ate one of those already. I have a cute little mini Nutella container that I got from my best friend Gabby. And then she also got me these caramels from this website i think it's called annie's right yeah annie b's oh my gosh they are so good i tried a sea salt caramel one and it was really good you know what i'm gonna try one right now for you guys because it's gonna taste super duper good um let's see so there's different flavors and i think so there's chocolate there's chocolate ones butter rum and original cappuccino and then i think there's another sea salt one yeah i kind of want to try a butter rum one is that the butter rum or is that original that's cappuccino original original butter rum i'm gonna try a but a butter rum for you not the whole thing but i'm gonna try it okay oh it smells so good look at that this is like a a mukbang okay so Let's do ASMR real quick. 
Oh crap, it's like on my teeth. <laughs> I can't chew it. Oh. That's an odd flavor. Yeah, it was really hard to try to do AMSR. <laughs> ASMR with that. It's really sticky. I need to eat an apple to compensate for that. Okay, I'm gonna tie this back up. I'll just bite this because it's stuck in my teeth. This next gift is a big present small box gift. Someone's numbers on the bottom of this box. So we're not gonna show the bottom of the box. And this is for my sister. It was filled with six protein bars. Now there's only three. Um, <clears throat> now there's only two and a quarter. <laughs> I ate a bunch since Christmas. I ate one on Christmas, and I ate one the day after Christmas, and I ate another one. Oh, that makes sense then. Well, if you know me, I love Luna Bars. They're probably not the healthiest ones, but it's okay. I love Luna Bars and Quest Bars, but I love Luna Bars a lot. I was not eating that one, but... So my favorite ones are actually on the bottom. It is the chocolate cupcake one and the lemon zest one. I love them so much. They're super good. And then next in line would be s'mores. Oh, it's tasty. And then there's like a blueberry one, and then they have these two protein ones that are like higher protein, which is a caramel one. And then they have chocolate chip cookie dough. And they're so good. But she got those for me. You're probably wondering, why'd you get protein bars for Christmas? Well, that coincides with the fact that I got a bunch of workout stuff for Christmas, which I was super excited about because I wanted a bunch of workout stuff. So I have a yoga block and a yoga mat, which I got. I tried using it last night. It actually helped. I did a split last night because I was stretching properly. So, you know, that's cool. I'll insert a clip of me doing a split Ooh, for seven. like the first time, getting it right and staying in a split. Now that you've seen that clip, now he's okay. Merry I gotta Christmas. jump. This was one of the wants that I Merry really, Christmas. really, really wanted for Christmas. I gotta, <coughs> excuse me. I got a jump rope. I really wanted a jump rope, so I got a jump rope and I'm excited. And it's kind of hard to use this thing because it keeps almost coiling up. So I have a jump rope. Okay, okay. Now we're getting into the really nice things. But this is a little quick thing. I have a fanny pack. So when I go exercising, this is not the right color. Like what? It is pink, but looks coral. Like that's okay, right? Okay, what? Okay, I don't know what's happening. I have a fanny pack. So when I go on a run, just wrap this thing around my waist and boom. Okay, next. So for Christmas, I got a Hollister shirt from my best friend. So I wore this once and it looks super cute. I got a Hollister, can you see it? Yeah, you can. I got this, I wore it, it's super cute, super me. It's supposed to be like a crop top, but they were like, I'm going to get a bigger size and it fits perfectly. So I don't want like a crop top that's going to be too revealing of my body. So that's perfect. Now next, I have a matching set. My grandparents got me a bigger, or great grandparents got me a bigger shirt because they figured it would be more comfortable to have like a bigger shirt when you're exercising so it's not too tight. Although I think that if it was smaller, it still would have been okay, but it's okay. And then I also got these leggings. I love them. These are Carrie Underwood brand. I was like, wait, she has a brand of clothing? And then I realized, wait, yeah, she's super fit. Like, she's into fitness. So I'm not surprised. I might follow in her footsteps, guys. I might start my own fitness website and everything fitness. I'm thinking about it because it's inspiring. And it's like, if I do that, then I can stick to my, my routines and I can help other people out while helping myself. So it would be perfect. Okay, next. So I got this cute set from Gymshark. I have the sports bra. Um, I don't know if people usually do sizes for things, but this is a small. So I have a small sports bra. It's comfy, cute, love it. And I also have a matching pair of capris that go with it. I'll be trying this on in a bit. Um, I love it. I love it. I've worn, I think, two three of these outfits already and I love them. So the next one is this long sleeve, tight, cropped shirt. It's a compression shirt. This one's a small as well, which comes with the matching. Well, it didn't come with the other them separately. That's how they make their moolah. So this, the shorts in the size small. So they go together. I don't know what's the point of me folding all this back up if I'm just gonna be trying it on. 
So we're just gonna thank you next. Cute ballerina cropped shirt. Has a little, um, the holes for your thumb right there, which I love. You can't even see that right there. And then I got these black leggings. I've already worn these, so they're probably like not that clean, but you know, I like tried them on. Black Gymshark leggings. I think these are a size small as well. They are. And I love it. And then I think that's not it, but the last thing that I got, which I'm already wearing, that I constantly wear, is a Fitbit. I got a Fitbit Charge 3 for Christmas. It was an upgrade from my other Fitbit. Uh, the last Fitbit I had, I actually bought for myself. I bought myself my old Fitbit, but I got a Fitbit for Christmas. I gave my old one to Brittany because that's what I was planning on doing if I got a new one and I got a new one. This one actually is swim proof, which I love. So I can take it in the pool and I don't have to worry about getting it wet. So I'm excited that I can swim with this on. It is so nice. The screen is so pretty. Oh my God, I love this. It's like not even scratched and watch me scratch it. It's perfect. Oop, I got Snapchats. Okay, let's just close that. So I am super excited. That was like the nicest, well, I got a really lo a lot of nice things for Christmas, but this was like one of the things I was super, super excited for if I were to get it for Christmas. And I did, and I love it. And I'm super happy with all the gifts. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about a bag, but I'm super happy with all the gifts that I got. I don't know how I could forget this bag. It was a bag of stuff that my sister got me for Christmas. Uh, my sister got me this cute Believe in Yourself journal. And I think she got it for me because she thinks that I should start journaling because it's like really good for you to kind of write down how you're feeling, kind of like a diary. So I'm gonna start doing that, which I can't wait to do because I feel like everyone needs to journal. So I have a journal. But she also gave me this cute little uh, note that says, I didn't want this treat to melt. The next time we go out, one pint of Halo Top on me. Merry Christmas. So, I get a pint of Halo Top ice cream. So, I'm excited because Halo Top is my favorite ice cream. I will never eat any other ice cream again besides Halo Top unless I go somewhere where I really want to try the ice cream. So, that's not a thing until I eat Halo Top. That's that's the only thing. And then my sister got me this really nice smelling perfume. She got it for me because my middle name's Rose. It's called Rose Elegance. It smells really good and it looks super cute. Here, let's turn the boat at the front. There's a little flower rose. Ugh, stop trying to zoom in on my face or focus on my face. See, this bottle is so cute. And it smells so good. It smells clean and I love it. And I, I love it. I don't like it. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. It's not associated with the makers of Gucci. I love how they have to do that. And then also, I have a Chinese takeout box. Just kidding. It is a box filled with bath bombs that she made me. She made everyone bath bombs for Christmas, but it's filled with bath bombs. Oh, it smells so good. I think these are the ones we made in that video. I'm not sure. They might be, but I could be wrong. She probably made these another time because she makes bath bombs and she likes to. But I got bath bombs. They are soups cute. And then the last thing that I have is this pumpkin pie chapstick. I'm gonna put some on because everyone knows I love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie anything or like pumpkin flavored anything. I like pumpkin bread, pumpkin pie, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Did I already say bread? Probably did. Pumpkin pie bites, pumpkin eggnog. I had pumpkin flavored ice cream before, pumpkin flavored cereal, pumpkin, you know, just. Everything pumpkin, it smells good. Uh, I, I just want to say, I'm just excited about it because I don't know. I just feel like I've been seeing it going on in like California and I'm like, oh, we're missing out on something. Mm -hmm. And then I just found out that the Grinchmas is going to be in Universal Studios in Orlando. So when we go back, we're going to go there and meet the Grinch. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Why? But look, we're going to see him. The, the, the Grinch right there. Yeah, but you have to pay for that. I know, but it's the Grinch. I know, it's the It's like Grinch. the coolest thing ever. Okay, so for some reason, the video decided to cut off during my outro. So I was just saying, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. You are all so amazing. And I'm gonna do a quick plug. I tell you, I tell you, it's crazy. It is very crazy, guys. So it's it's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day, 2019. Christmas Day. And 
Going to do Christmas here and then head back to Florida. So that's what's happening. And it's not even that cold here. I don't know what's happening. I thought it'd be like freezing here, but it's not even freezing here. It feels nice. It's like crazy weather. I don't know what's happening. Is it is it global warming? Like what is going on out there? I, I when I when I got out of the car, I'm thinking I feel like I'm still in Florida because that's how the weather feels. Well, maybe another ten degrees warmer, but still, I don't know what's happening. Let me know what kind of weather you have your way. What is the weather? Is it, is it, does it feel like Florida? Does it feel like winter? Because it is definitely, it is warm. I don't, I don't understand. I'm going to go out here and, and just feel the, the outdoorness. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, the trees don't look too lively. But it's not even cold out here. I'm so confused. Mother Nature, what is going on? Mother Nature. I when I go back to Florida, maybe it's gonna be like 85 degrees instead of between 70 and, and 80. I don't know. We'll see how it is. We'll all see how it is. Hopefully by then I'll have the house sold, you know, on my, uh, by the time I get the job, because, you know, like I said, that new job opportunity, maybe sometime in, uh, towards the end of February, maybe. Um, or January. No, I think it's towards the end of the... So we'll see how that goes with the new job opportunity. I'm thinking possibly that could all work out sometime in the middle towards the end of January, maybe even into February. You know, I got this construction contract, you know, doing the web designing for this construction company out there. And um, that's only a couple weeks from now, or three weeks, I think it is. Time's just going by too. I can't even keep track. I thought that the calendar to even know what day of the week it is these days, because it seems like when you get older, time just goes by so much faster. It's crazy how that works out. It needs to slow down. It really does. Time needs to slow down. Christmas morning of 2019, having it here, because we're closer to family here. And it's nice weather, it's not bad. All right, I forgot to mention, guys, uh, so I have potential buyers looking at this house on Friday, so uh, hopefully that all goes well. I'm considering doing a rent to own so that they can rent it and then own it in a year or two from now. And um, if they do get moved in, it might take about a month or so. But I do have people looking after the property and someone staying here. Um, so they're taking care of things. And that's how that goes. But uh, hopefully that works out. But yeah, because I, I, there's too many bills. There really are. I mean, if I didn't have as many bills as I had, there'd probably be more things under the tree. Brianna made all that, homemade. You believe that? It's, it's amazing. It's like, look at this stuff. It looks so good. Look over here. Man. And Brianna made more stuff like right here, bro. I think Brittany made stuff too. Like, Brittany and Brianna both. It was smelling good. Oh, that stuffed bacon. It really was. It's delicious. I just wish I could have that stuff, you know? Ooh, salmon. <laughs> so yeah, gonna cook that salmon for everybody. It's a really big one there, so gonna do that. Get some smells up in this house, right? And then uh, in a few days, head back to Florida. But uh, like I said, gotta see how things go. The house may be sold by the time I get out of here, and then, yeah, or rent it out. Like I said, lease purchase possibility. But yeah, it's looking good in here. It's looking like Christmas. Here.
That's Christmas 2019, guys. And this is going to be on my Up to Speed Media channel and maybe even on Brianna's channel if she uses any of my clips. But that's what's happening right there. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I don't understand. It doesn't feel like winter. It's really warm. Oh, and a disclaimer for YouTube. If I put any of this on my Up to Speed Media channel, there are no little kids opening up any gifts. It's just teenagers, grown-up daughters of mine opening up gifts. But uh, probably not even going to see any of that. You're probably going to see stuff from last year. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to put on my channel. But I know if Brianna posts something, I might like use some of what she posts and put it on my channel. So, And then maybe she can use some of my stuff, put it on her channel so we can both have something continuously together. I don't know. I just miss it when we both made content together and put it on the, on the channel that used to be ours together. But it doesn't work that way no more. It really doesn't. Things have changed. Brianna's gone her way with YouTube. I've gone my way with YouTube. And, and I'm pretty much at the point where January's going to be here very soon. And there's big changes for January 2020. And uh, don't know how that's going to affect the whole YouTube hobby. But if I no longer post, it's because the changes made it impossible for me to keep up with it all. And uh, even with, you know, getting this new job, even if I were to consolidate my three jobs into one you know i still have to figure out how to do that because i can't just stop my other three jobs and then do this i have to kind of work it in gradually over time and so it's going to be pretty strenuous and i'm not gonna have a lot of free time and i'm up for any challenge you know i don't like sitting around i have a lot of energy and i like to use that energy and that's just how i am so the more work I do, the more energy I put into it, the more happy I am knowing that I'm having a better financial future. Uh, but the way it's been going, I've been working a lot of hours, but barely getting paid for all the time that I got invested. So hopefully things will change with this new job opportunity. But uh, we'll just have to take it one day at a time, guys. So that's how that is. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I love you.